Hi everyone, welcome to your Thursday quick stretch with me, myself, and I. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. We are going to start standing and work our way down to the floor. So, take a nice big breath in. Stop thinking about whatever you might be thinking about. And let's bring our head side to side. Place your feet on the ground. Really press those feet. Really feel the ground on your feet. Roll those shoulders back and down, side to side. Very gentle. And then we're going to bring the chin down to the chest. Over to the right, back down to the chest. Over to the left. We're going to bring the head up. We're going to turn and we're going to look over our right shoulder. And back through center over the left. Roll the shoulders. We're going to go up and back for a couple circles. Bring them up. And then reverse around to the front. One more. All right. We're going to bring those arms up over the head. You can interlock the hands together. And I want you to lift up as if you were gonna lift right out of your spine. Take a nice wider stance here, slide those feet out just a bit. You're gonna drop this right hand down, up and over. Using this right hand to press and for some support. Back up, right arm up. Same thing, up and over to the left. Back up, hands to the head. From here, sit those hips back into a hip hinge. Small bend in the knees if you need it. Come on back up. Sit the hips back. Think nice flat back here. Right when you feel that stretch in your hamstrings, you're gonna come back up, keeping the weight in your heels as your hips come back. One more. And up from here, very slowly, we're gonna to touch the insides of our feet just to get those hips a little bit warmed up before we stretch them. Let's snap, crackle, and pop. All right, one more. All right, bring that right foot in front. Face both feet in the same direction. Straight legs here, if you can. You can bend if you need a little bit more support. Go ahead and pull that core in. Think nice flat back. We're just gonna hinge forward. Feeling that stretch down our front right leg. If you want to come down, you can place the hands. If you have a stretching block or anything, you want to keep yourself up here, you can use those. Nice forward fold. And then from here, we're going to slide that back leg out and come into a nice high lunge position. So with those hands, you want to make sure that you could take your hands off and balance here. This is work as well. So we're going to place the hands on the thigh, lean it forward. Again, nice flat back. Weights in our heel. You should be able to wiggle your toes here. Place this left hand down. Bring our right arm up to the ceiling. And open up that chest. Keep the weight in that heel. And bring it back in. Both hands on the inside of this right foot here. You can drop this back knee down. Tuck the toe under. You can hang out right here if this is enough stretch for you. You're like, no, I know that's not enough stretch for me. Then you can bring it down onto your elbows. And hold here. Bring it back up. We're going to sit the hips back. Ooh, straighten out that front leg. You can bring those toes up to the ceiling. You should feel that right 
down your hamstrings, a little bit in the calf. From here, holding this position, using those hands to support you where this leg is still stretched out in front of us, I want you to turn that foot out just a little bit. So it's kind of like a windshield wiper. Just a little bit so you can turn it in, turn it out, and then bring it back forward. Sit that leg back. We're gonna come back into a child's pose. Reach those shoulders, reach those arms out. And from here, tuck the toes under. We're gonna come into a forward fold, lift, walk the hands in, whatever you gotta to do to get back to standing. And bring it up, left side. Left foot in front, right leg behind, straight legs. From here, hinge it forward, wherever feels comfy for you. Hold, bring it down, tap the toes, tap the toes. Fingers on the ground. And we're gonna come into our high lunge position, slide that right leg out find your balance there we go right hand right next to that left foot make sure your knee is in line with your ankle if it is not adjust. bring this left arm up And bring it back down, both hands on the inside, adjust as needed. Drop your knee, tuck that toe under. Down onto the elbows, if that works for you. And slowly back up. Rock the hips back, straighten out that left foot the best you can. Here we go. And our little windshield wiper. Stretch a little bit more of our outer hips and then a little bit on the inside. All right, bring it back. Press through, bring that foot underneath child's pose. This time we're going to bring the toes together, knees apart, and rock it back a little bit wider so that way you can really get your torso in between the legs here. All right, back up onto all fours. Okay. From here, you can either tuck your toes under or keep them flat. We have our little wrap through. Love this one for the back. We're gonna slide our right hand underneath our left. Slide the back of your hand, keep sliding it all the way over until your shoulder hits the ground. And use this hand for more support. If you wanna make this a little bit more intense, left arm comes up in the air. And bring it back up. Left hand, slide it under. Look underneath that right arm. Open. Ooh. Your back cracked during this twin. My back always cracks on one side. Bring it back up. Rock back to child's pose. And from here, we're gonna flip it over onto our back. We're gonna do a figure four stretch. So right here, cross this right leg over your left and we're gonna lean back with it. Roll yourself back, cross the leg over, grab behind your left thigh. Put your head down, relax. Use your right elbow to help press this knee out. And hold it here and take some deep breaths. Inhale, let's extend this left leg up. As straight as you can get it, I want you to roll that left ankle around. 
a few times in each direction. And pull that leg in one last time. Slowly relax, drop it down. Both feet on the floor. Inhale, left leg crosses over the right. Bring it up. And pull that right leg in. Again, making sure that your low back is on the ground. If it starts to get a little too intense, lessen the pull. Remember, you want to be a little bit of tension, no pain or discomfort. Go ahead and extend this right leg up. Roll the ankle. down, pull the leg in a little bit closer, bring that right foot down, release the left. We're going to bring both knees into the chest, give them a nice hug. You can rock side to side with this one. And from here, we're going to grab the insides of our feet. Knees come on each side of you and you want to guide them towards the ground. So you can flex your feet, press those knees down through the heel for a happy baby. Trying to keep your tailbone down to the ground as well. You don't want to be way up here. Try to bring that back down and keep it flat. Good. All right. Bring those legs together. Inhale. Press. We're going to extend the left leg out straight. Right leg comes in. One more twist. Bring this right arm out to the side as our right leg crosses over to the left. And back through center, switch legs, left leg comes in, up and over, cross it. And inhale, back to center. We're gonna rock ourselves a few times with these rocks. So, back and forth. Up, roll it through. How much roll is up? About three or four. There we go. We're going to come into a nice yogi squat position. So you have to stand up for this. If you have sensitive knees, have you come up here and you're going to come down into this position. So holding here or hands here. If you have a little bit more flexibility, you can come down into this yogi squat position, making sure those knees are still in line with your toes, and you can press the arms out here. I used to just like hang out in this position all the time, and people would be like, that's very weird. How is that comfortable? Hold here, and then we're gonna extend those hips up, forward fold, bring the hands down in front of you. Let's walk them over to the right foot, and walk them back through center one more time. Over to the left. And we're going to bend those knees one more time. Bring the chest up. Come back down into this nice low position. If you're not all the way down, you're going to bring it right down to the ground. Squat the butt on the ground. Bring those feet out. A little bit of a V here. Just about hip width apart. Nothing too crazy. We're going to reach forward for those toes. About a minute left. So we're just going to reach gently for those toes. Feel free to have a flat back. See how far you reach with a flat back. Stop and hold it. And then curve your back over and let yourself hang out here. Good. And now up feet together. And again, reach for the toes, and then we're going to repeat one more time with our feet in a little bit more of a wider V. Look at those inner thighs. Reach for those toes. Inhale. We're going to bring the legs as wide as you can comfortably. So this is going to be those stretches for the inner thigh, the hip flexors, 
If you ever pull the groin muscle, you know this is terrible to pull. So flex those feet. I just want you to put your hands down in front of you and bend your elbows as you can, as far as you can comfortably. We're going to take three deep breaths. Slowly walk those hands up, bring the legs in together. Shake it out. Take a quick second, roll through your wrists. Roll them every which way. Place the palms together, point the fingers down. You guys know the drill. You can press your fingers against each other. And then another good one is to come onto your knees, hands face behind, and just very, very gently rock those hands back and feel that stretch throughout those forearms. There we go. Stretch out those wrists. That is it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for jumping on. Go get some water, hydrate. Have a wonderful Thursday.